So what do we do? What do we do? Eh, uh, that's a pretty stupid question, but... Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help. From the one you hunt. Him? How? And what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Now, however, we must deal with the reason that brought us both here. So, you're here for a reason as well, huh? serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Why do you think I'd come? It shall not be easy, as dead laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? You might call it that. Though dead laugh is, how would you humans put it, more bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here, at least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand, Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. Got a lot of faith in the guy. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. <laughs> Remember the year 964? <laughs> That was three centuries ago. Blind fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost two hundred, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Interesting. Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not have a monopoly on altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine, which is why I know something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent, one they hone over centuries. It's precisely what renders us so difficult to classify. Detlaf's trump card is his herd instinct, his tribal propensity. In point of fact, he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, Killing egregiously can only mean something's upset him immensely. Anything specific? Some set of things that would be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out.
gotta find him before something upsets him even more, and all Beau Claire is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, all right already. But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Horses would carry us, yet I fear we're late all the same. Pray, where is the beast? Still investigating, about to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample all over the evidence. Ah, <clears throat> sirs, we must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unavenged. Close call. Just look at that half. They laugh under a retain. We rush it on a long cemetery. So, yeah, health is back. I had to swallow and third port. Can they go through here? Yeah. I can. Oh, Richard, to fly his train. Greetings! Why so cross? Have it tipping. that because I don't <laughs> it's been a while since I used them so I don't exactly remember which one is which so now hopefully I will remember them clearly now so where we go when we're here and we gotta go here to the cemetery awesome So I'll probably try to get as close as we can. Then I'll try to save, and I'll be going off in a couple minutes, guys. So I'll be back later today. That's for sure. I damn, watch it, man. I assure you guys of that. But unfortunately, I ain't gonna run. So. Okay, let's see. Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. I hope all is well. I imagine you hot on the trail of some nasty monster. Or is it an overly complex curse this time? Oh, Geralt, I wish I knew for certain. Whatever is keeping you busy, perhaps you'll need a break. For those moments, I offer you this intriguing little mystery I happened on in an old manuscript I bought off a merchant from Nazaire. The tome's author claims a certain Professor Moreau, once called Beauclair Home, and this professor conducted research into Witcher mutations. I don't know much else, but I suspect that alone might pique your interest. 
The tome mentioned a journal interred with the scholar when he passed. It could very well lead you to his laboratory. I'm enclosing a map I found folded in the tome. It's smudged in a few places, but I hope it proves useful anyway. Please be careful and come back to me quickly. Your Triss. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Yep, definitely will be worth it. So I'll leave aside the main mission for the moment. So I'll leave aside the main mission for the moment. I'll go straight for this new development, the uh, Trisis letter. And uh, search for Maria's grave at Lone Cemetery, which is Sunset Snow, Night of Fire, Mute of Booklers, The Wobble of a Smitten Night, No Place Like Home, Go to Cove of Yanko. Okay, I'll try to see the Wobble of a Smitten Night. Probably try to finish that one up. Yep, this one turn on the face of the strange search for Marius Grave at Orlemus Cemetery using your witch's senses. So, just like I mentioned, I leave aside the, the main mission main story for a moment and I'll get to get to do this dress trees side mission for the witches mutation so thank you guys very much for watching I love you all and I see you back later because I gotta run now so thank you very much guys and see you later peace